Chicken Air, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be taking on War Factory, and it looks like a rough one today. Um, I guess it's the same kind of layout that we've been getting recently. Um, <clears throat> I, like, it's, it's one of the newer layouts, whatever. Um, so, I think last time, I, uh, I, I've i been making this, the mistake lately on Gearheart to uh, to always try to use all Zooka, because for the, for the last Gearheart um, layouts that we're so used to, right, like... Um, some form of Alzuka was always the best way to go, and that's not so much the case um, with these new ones. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say like specifically what's really good and what's really bad, just because we're um, we haven't hit it yet. So we're gonna hope that it goes well. I've got the hookahs trained up here. Uh, my idea for the first attack is I'm going to take out this rocket launcher, and um, I think I'm gonna use two barrage and two artillery, and hopefully take that down. Um, so we'll see how this goes, guys. Uh, I've got those Doom Cannons to worry about. Okay, so three artillery. Wow. Um, so I'm going to be spending basically all my shocks on these Doom Cannons to keep my heavies alive. And I'm going to try to clear all these mines with the heavies the first time. Uh, maybe I'll throw some critters up here just to kind of keep them distracted for a second. Because I don't really want to waste shock time on the Doom Cannons while my Zookas aren't really clearing anything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the first shock there, the second one there. And... Okay, so the heavies, I guess, it does it not pick off multiple heavies? I guess that would be something to uh, to know before going in and doing this attack, guys. But um, So hopefully we can kind of clear out um, a bit of a, a bit of a pocket here for the Zookas on the next one. Um, I don't really see a way to solo this unboosted. Um, I think this is going to be probably the best way to do it, guys. Uh, obviously, once we get up close to the HQ, we've got the lasers to worry about and the mortars and stuff. But that's not really going to be a huge, huge deal. I want to take out the Shock Blaster for sure. Then I think I'm going to readjust. Okay, so we're going to readjust now. Um, I'm going to Shock these Mortars again just to kind of help keep my Zookas alive. Um, we got to heal our way out of that uh, Machine Gun. And we're doing pretty well here. We're doing pretty well here. I think this is the way to open this one, honestly. But yeah, there's the laser that comes into play. And that's probably going to wreck us uh, before we're able to finish, guys. So... Uh, for my next attack, I'm really not sure what the best way to do it is going to be. Maybe I'll throw all my extra GB on this laser and we can take that out next time. Uh, so that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Definitely better than um, some of my uh, previous... Like, my last few War Factories have just been rough, man. Like, I don't know what's been going on with it, but... Um, it, I'm just getting used to these new layouts, I guess, right? So let's actually scout this out. Uh, I'd like to do this in two attacks. That would be nice. Um, so... We're right on the core, so where what, what, what do we have to worry about here uh, in terms of Zookas? We've got the one machine gun here that we're going to have to take down. We've got um, the one laser here that's got, oh, it's got a friggin' massive amount of health left. Um, so the rocket had, what, 30? Again, not a not a podiatrist with the, with the math here, guys. But the rocket had, like, what, half the health of this, this laser, uh, its current health. So it's probably going to need two barrage and at least four artillery, and that's going to leave us with like 50, high 50s GB, 58-ish GB, I think. And, but once we get there, I don't know if we're out of range with this laser, though. That's the thing. Like, I, I forget how close the Zookas are going to stand here. Um, and I don't really want to bring heavies or anything with them, just because that's all that's going to do is track the laser. Um, so we'll, we'll train up the Zookas, guys. We'll try to do it here. If we don't, then we'll use another attack. Um, um, definitely interested to hear your thoughts on, um, like, uh, just whatever you used on today, or, like, what you think is the best strategy if you didn't, uh, if you didn't end up doing it. Um, or, like, what you think would be the easiest way if you are boosted. Like, maybe you could use boosted, uh, team eds and go around left and, like, clear from the top or something. I, I feel like that would be viable if, um, if you had... If you had enough um, like red statues boosted, you'd need a, a whole whack of health and a whole ton of uh, <clears throat> and a ton of GB for that, obviously. Um, so I didn't factor in that uh, sniper tower going down. So 55, holy jeez, 58. If I had taken it out there, then we would have been like uh, the chicken scientist on that last one, eh? Uh, so 13. Yeah, I guess we have to. Uh, 
We'll take that out. So we got 48 GBE left, guys. Uh, I don't want to waste it. There's nothing... Yeah, there's no extra GBE I can gather up here. Um, so we're going to kind of come in... I don't really know where the best place to stand is, honestly. Maybe a little bit downward because the lasers are facing from the top a little bit. And we did take out that rocket launcher, so there's there's really <clears throat> nothing that's going to bother us on that side. Um, so we, we'll see, I guess, if the lasers fire, then uh, it's it's game over before it started. But uh, we will see, guys. Uh, we got that grappler. That's not really anything to worry about. Uh, I'm going to flare back a bit. Oh, yeah, there's the laser, guys. There's the laser. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and shock the laser. Uh, we'll take out that machine gun. And I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be close, guys. It's going to be close. I can throw another shock in the laser just in case. And hopefully that... Um, we'll keep that grappler busy with these critters. Because critters aren't going to save us from the lasers uh, whatsoever, really. Uh, so this is what it comes down to, guys. The shock's about to, uh, the shock's about to expire. Is the laser going to hit us here? Uh, if not, I think, we could, uh, I think we could do this in two... Now, it depends uh, on that stupid grappler and these sniper towers. Are these sniper towers completely in range, guys, or are we going to be free of them? Look at this grappler, though. Look at how far it's reaching. Like, come on. Give me a break. Is it even grabbing them? What is it doing? Is it glitching? I don't understand. Look, it's grabbing them. Is it not taking it in the back because the cannons aren't turning or anything? What is going on here? What is going on here? Is it gonna okay so it's done whatever it was doing that was that was pretty strange guys um if we can are we still getting picked off by the snipers yeah that's gonna hurt if we can keep like uh, i don't know i don't think we're gonna have the damage to finish this out guys um unfortunately there's no way to, to check the the sniper tower's range while it's hitting us either which is too bad but i mean uh the idea kind of worked maybe if um because the problem was there was, like, obviously it'd be easier if I could sit something in front of them. But if I sit anything in front of them, then it's just going to trigger the lasers. And then it's just, the lasers are just going to wipe us out. If you could maybe clear out the lasers first with something else. And then kind of use these two attacks here. Then maybe that would be better. And maybe you would lose less troops doing that. Like, if you are able to go up with warriors or something. And maybe clear out all the lasers. Um before doing the heavy zooka attack that i did and then and obviously before doing this one then maybe you would um uh you'd be like better off but still these sniper towers i had to worry about i probably should have just gone up left honestly i, I probably could have um i probably could have stood somewhere like right in here in front of these mines and not been uh not been touched by the lasers why don't we just try that right now while um while we got them pounding away here just to see exactly what the what the radius would be so we'll move up somewhere like this, and we'll see if the lasers fire on us or not. Because that obviously would have been out of range of the sniper tower. Oh, we've got another freaking grappler up here, don't we? Um, okay, so we got this one Zuka here. If it turns on the HQ, then maybe that would be like... Uh, I don't know, because with that grappler there, and we're, we're getting really close to that rocket too. If you have had a big group of them, then it's going to be like pretty difficult to, um, to not get touched by the grappler and the rocket on that side. So, so I don't know. I, it, it's hard to say how many we would have been able to, to stack there. Like, maybe we would have been picked off by the sniper tower, like, up to uh, up to close where we were standing anyway. So, the one Zuka made it. The one Zuka made it, guys. Um, okay, so, uh, obviously, the best way to finish is just going to be diamonding up the Zooks. Um, I think to, uh, we don't need to scout this. What are we doing, chicken? What are we doing, chicken? Let's just get right back in there. Uh, Mr. Whiffy is, uh, is getting a little mad at us here, guys. Uh, okay, we'll go back out. And we're just going to finish diamonding up the Zookas. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll diamond this. We'll diamond them all right back up. Um, and we'll dive on right back into Gearheart. And we can. I guess we can kind of play around uh, play around a bit with, um, with where we would want them to stand. Um, obviously, I could just finish it, but I mean... If we could, uh, <clears throat> if we can kind of find that out, that would be nice to know um, where exactly we can get away with standing, just so you guys know in advance. Um, because I don't want to walk too far up, because I don't want to trigger those lasers and just uh, and just get roasted. So maybe we'll go ahead and shock them here, and then we'll see. Because obviously we're going to finish this. We got enough shocks for it, so we'll see exactly what touches us where when we get. Um, we get up here 
I'm kind of scared, and I'm going to show off those lasers. Okay, so the rock launcher is going to melt us uh, right about there. We'll see if we can get any of them to stay out of range of this laser, though. Hopefully we don't take it down before that. Um, okay, so, yeah, there is one laser right there, too, but maybe these ones are... Uh... Nope, those ones aren't safe either. Okay, so maybe that uh, doesn't work, guys, but we should have enough GBE maybe to finish this out, and if not, we can just uh, diamond up something else and uh, finish it off. Um, okay, so this is going to be the longest <laughs> the longest finish in the history of Gearheart, guys. Do I have one Zooka left again? Okay, so apparently only one Zooka fits there. Go figure. Um, I don't... Uh, is she going to be able to finish this out? I hope so. Um, it's taking an awfully sweet time, if not. Yeah, I think it should go down. Well, we got two minutes, so I mean... Um, <laughs> maybe this wasn't the best idea. Uh, I'm trying to think of where I can throw the critters without them um, without them getting lasered and, and hitting that Zuka. Okay, I don't know if they did any damage, but uh, we'll give we'll give old Shelly here a uh, a life pack. Just get her nice and healed up. Um, take her time there. We'll uh, we'll we'll take this time now, guys, to uh, stretch her beaks and uh, and f and flap her feathers a bit here and just kind of get uh, antiquated with the situation at hand. Um, so this is all. This is gonna be all that I'm showing for the video today, guys. Um, we're working on. We we just finished up another foxtrot operation. I forget if I showed that in the last one or not, but we took it down relatively easily in like six attacks or something. Um, so we're work, working on um, getting intel for our next stronghold. And the question for you guys today that I want to, you to leave in the comment is: um, We're coming up to a thousand subscribers, and that's amazing. And thank you guys. And um, maybe after I announce this, we'll never get another one again. But um, if and when we do hit a thousand, um, I want you guys to suggest uh, some kind of like challenge or like something goofy. Like obviously, you know, I'm up for anything. So anything you would want to see me do, no onions. I'm going to state that right now. I'm never eating a white onion again for as long as I live. Never, never again. Um, but yeah, any, any kind of crazy check and stuff. Like obviously I can do like little challenges and stuff uh, within the game too. That would be fun. Um, like all medic attacks or whatever something something silly that you guys want to see me do um let me know that down in the comments um uh, definitely leave a like if you found it interesting entertaining or informative and we'll see you in the next one guys chicken out <laughs>